UK is very, very quiet on the market. Everybody's anticipating what's coming up next at that FM press conference. Just before we hit that, uh, let's get you one more corporate conversation. Mahendra Singhi, MD and CEO of Dalmia Cement, is with us to talk about the overall outlook on the sector and, uh, of course, whether the price hikes can sustain or not. Uh, Mr. Singhi, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, now, of course, uh, you, know, you have been taken in a lot of initiatives on the green side as well. Uh, let's start by understanding the new announcements that you made with respect to your business. What's the impact? First of all, uh, let me say that uh, we have become lowest carbon footprint cement company in global cement world. We have done a lot of activities to reach to this stage, which has not only helped the global climate, but at the same time it has helped our organization both in terms of profitability also, in terms of sustainability also. Second, I would say that when CDP, which is an organization which tracks uh, environment data, when they came out with a cement report uh, on global cement side, then they identified Dalmia Cement as number one ranked company who is prepared for low carbon economy transition. Okay, that, that's very good, sir. But now I, I do want to talk a little more about the business as well. So uh, can you first give us a sense of uh, domestic cement demand? Uh, the monsoon period is get, coming to an end. Uh, what is the overall pickup expected? And what about your own volume guidance for FY20? First five months of uh, Indian cement sector from demand point of view has not been great. There may be either flat growth or 1 or 2% uh, plus or minus. Now with the stimulus or the new commitments which our government has given, so maybe in 2-3 uh, months time uh, it may take turn and then uh, the revival of uh, certain uh, housing uh, sector, then revival in uh, infrastructure sector etc. I think uh, cement demand may go up and uh, we are not sure because of today's uncertainty that whether it will be able to touch uh, demand growth of 4 to 5 percent. At the same time, at the same time, as Dalbia Cement, as a reputed as possible brand, as a brand which gives future today, we are expected to do better than the overall industry. Okay. Uh, so you said that it's not certain whether uh, demand can grow up to 4 to 5 percent. So uh, are you saying that for your, for Dalmia Cement, uh, would that be the kind of volume target? If you could just share your figure for FI20, sir. Dalmia Cement, definitely, like, like I said, that there is some uncertainty about overall uh, demand of cement. So difficult to quantify at the moment, but I would say that we would be definitely faring better because in the first four months also we have done better. Okay, then what about the cement prices after the monsoons? Uh, do you think there has been an increase? There can be an increase? It's all better of uh, demand and supply as well as uh, the sentiments. So, uh, in uh, east and uh, south uh, and uh, where we operate, uh, things may improve. Things may be uh, becoming better now. Okay, good to hear that. Uh, we'll wait and see. Um, but the more important thing we wanted to ask you, uh, are you looking to buy Imami cement? That is, is Dalmia cement looking to buy Imami cement? We don't comment on speculations. And at the same time, I would say we have not given any bid. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, then you, can you deny that uh, Dalmia cement is not interested in Imami cement? So far, we have not given the bid. Given a bid, all right. Okay.